Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives, back for a CD vinyl update. Uh, again, if you're newer to the channel, welcome. If you are one of the usual suspects, welcome to you too. And today's update, I got about, uh, I think, four on vinyl, four or five CDs to show you. Um, we're going to show you a little bit of glam, some thrash, some death metal, and uh, hopefully there's something there for everyone. Um, back in, let's rewind the clock, I mean way back, 1987, a couple, well, a monster album, well, became a monster album for sure that came out. You all know the album from Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. But just two weeks prior to that, an album came out from another L.A. glam band that I've, I've always loved this band. And, but I kind of missed the boat on their third album, which I'm going to show you here today that I picked up and talk about that a little bit. But the, um, just two weeks prior to Guns N' Roses' album getting released, this album was released by Faster Pussycat, their debut. Always have loved this album. It's, it's just, you know, yeah, I know it's a little on the lighter side of things, but you know what? I, this one has a special place in, in, in my, uh, my life, my heart, whatever you want to say. And then I, I do have their next one on vinyl, but I thought I would pick it up on CD. And these are these music on CD which are pretty cool. So this is their second album from 1989 called Wake Me When It's Over. Uh, not as good as their debut. Actually, if I was ranking their first three albums, this would be number three because the one I picked up that I, I uh, well, around 89, 90, probably around 90, 91, I was into heavier music at the time and just kind of lost track of uh, Faster Pussycat. But, you know, through... Um, People showing this album and uh, recommending it. I picked up Faster Pussycat's third album called Whipped. And it is on that music on CD. And uh, wow. I, I This is like going, rewinding the clock. and Or wishing for that album to come out that sounded from way back. But this one actually is. And this is just such a great album. Uh, nice orange CD. The booklet is... It's not much to this book. It's not even a booklet. It is a just a, let, let me get it out of here. This is just a, a one pager with a little bit of credits on it. Um, only one lineup change on here. Different drummer, Brett Bradshaw uh, took over drums from, uh, what was the other guy's name? I think it was Mark Michaels or, or something like that. Anyways, what an awesome album. And like I said, I would definitely, their, their debut will always be number one for me as far as Faster Pussycat goes, but this is easily uh, a number two. And uh, let me know if you like the band and uh, let me know what, what you think of this album. Check out the track, Non Stop to Nowhere is absolutely awesome opener. Uh, a couple more favorites on here. Uh, Jack the Bastard, what a cool tune that is. There's some things on here that are kind of, um, you know, red hot chili pepper-ish, let's say. Um, those songs are probably not for me, like a song called Loose Booty. Um, but there's other great tracks on here called, you uh, know, like uh, Friends, uh, Cat Bash, which is this kind of electronic drums and uh, this kind of uh, robotic type of voice. Really cool. Or um, Made in Wonderland, but... If you don't check out anything from this album besides one song, check out uh, Non Stop to Nowhere. So this is uh, Faster Pussycat's third album from 1992. I believe they have a fourth album. I, th I think they do. I've never heard it. But anyways, let's move on to... And yeah, by the way, these music on CD, I was a little, little hesitant to begin with because um, I have one other one on music from CD and the Jewel Case is one of those weird... Uh, type jewel cases that if it ever got cracked or broken you'd have a tough time replacing it but uh, I think you know what I mean if you're a CD collector okay let's move on to um, a, another uh, classic classic concept album that I uh, picked up on vinyl actually and uh, two on vinyl that were reissued and um, for me Queensryche is the EP in their first four albums uh, honestly I do like some stuff after Empire, um, but if I had to cut it off at Empire, I'd have no problem doing that. But uh, Queensryche, 
Operation Mind Crime was reissued here just uh, a few weeks back on vinyl. And it is on Universal. There's the back cover. You all know this album. But I will just go through what's in here. It is a double vinyl. It is not a gatefold. So both of them, and it, they fit in there nicely. It's not tight. And I even removed the, uh, or replaced them with MoFi sleeves. And I put the other inners in there and it fits fine. So, so this one came with, here is the two inner sleeves. This one is um, on there. You can read, I remember now. I remember how. It started, I can't remember yesterday, I just remember doing what they told me, what they told me, oh, what, oh, never mind. Anyways, there is the back, if you can see that logo there. And here is the other inner, classic shot of the band. What a great album, probably one of my all-time favorite concept albums. Not my favorite Queensryche album, but uh, I did a Queensryche uh, ranking video, if you ever want to check that and find out what my favorite is. But here is the lyrics, and I'll just show you one of the vinyl. They're both the same. Um, you know what? They sound good to me. I, I don't know if I've heard anybody really uh, complain about them, but I have nothing to compare them to as far as vinyl. I don't have any originals. But here is the, it's on black vinyl, and the, all the center rings are the same on, well, they have the track listing on one side. Whoops. There's right side up there. And like I said, they sound really good to me. And I would still love to get the EP and the Warning and Rage for Order. And that would be that would be me on vinyl as far as Queen's Right go. But I also this uh, pre-order came up the same day for this. This is for Empire. Um, I would say, well, this you definitely know this is where <clears throat> you know what, this is a monster album for them. It took them to another level. Um, you know, some commercial type songs on here, but really, really solid album. Um, and my, my favorite track will always be Empire. I love that song. Uh, that that guy at the start, uh, it start, it's starting to hit me like a two-ton heavy thing. I still think that's the same guy that's on... Um, if you know the band Exodus, they have a song called um, Brain Dead. Or no, Deranged. Uh, I like Salad, that guy. Go listen to that. I think it's the same guy. Anyways, massive, massive amount of hits on this album. Um, Jet City Woman, Della Brown, Another Rainy Night Without You, Silent Lucidity, uh, Hand on Heart, and uh, and my like I said, my favorite track, Empire. This is a very solid album. And this one also came with uh, double vinyl, couple inners. There is the inner for this one with the, the Reich logo right there. And here's the other inner. There is all the lyrics. You're not gonna be able to read that, but, uh, and then on the back side there too. And the vinyl for Empire. I'll just show you one again. So this side has the logo that's on the front cover and with their main other logo on the B side. Yeah, and like I said before, they sound really good to me. Um, they've been they've been remastered and uh, and put over um, you know two vinyl per. But uh, I don't know if um, the warning and Rage for Order have been um, reissued like this. I don't believe they have, but I sure hope they do because th those are a couple of my really. Uh, you know, those are quite high up in the old Queen's Rake ranking for sure. Next up, we will go with a little bit of thrash. And we'll end this video today with uh, a newer death metal band to me. And there's a couple of download card uh, download cards I don't need that I'm going to give away. And I'll hold those up. And you guys can first come, first serve, whatever, if you want to check them out. Or if you're if it's not your thing. Uh, don't worry about it. Next up is a band that I only got into last year when their new album came out, uh, which is their seventh album. The band I'm talking about is Onslaught, and I've shown a couple of their earlier albums in the uh, previous update, but I had uh, put in an order to AFM Records, and I saw these. I'm like, you know what? I'm ordering from AFM Records. It's 
you know, the shipping's what it is, what it is. I might as well throw these on because they're actually kind of hard to find around here. I picked up Onslaught's fifth album called Sounds of Violence. And uh, the hype sticker was right on there. And um, this album is now 10 years old and that hype sticker is on there. I'm not even gonna mess with it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not super fond of it being stuck there, but you know what, I'll, I'll live, put it that way. So this is Onslaught's fifth album. Um, their comeback album was, um, what's it called? Um, Killing Peace in 07. So this one came out four years later in 2011. And this is, there's a band shot. There's Cy Keeler in the middle. And we have um, Nige Rocket. He's the other, he's the, really the mainstay. He is basically, I think, the only original member left now. I don't mind these AFM records, Digipacks at all. Nice booklet in here. So this is, uh, like I said, this is Onslaught's fifth album. And this one actually has, um, is there a cover on here too? There, oh, it says on the hype sticker, there's actually includes the single Bomber, which features Phil Campbell from Motorhead and uh, Tom Angel Ripper from Sodom. So that's pretty cool. Um, and the booklet, here, let's see. So all just lyrics in there. I just love AFM Records too. I uh, just, one of my favorite labels. So it just goes through with the lyrics and there's that band shot again. So really solid uh, thrash from the UK. If you haven't checked out some of um, Onslaught's later albums, I r strongly encourage you to check them out. Even with their new vocalist, um, David, he sounds very similar to Psy. Uh, he has some for lack of better words, same mannerisms with his voice and things like that. Um, I, I Do I prefer Psy? I think I do, but David is a very worthy uh, replacement and I hope he sticks with the band. So I also picked up their um, sixth album entitled Six and one of the coolest covers you'll ever see. And this is kind of where this hype sticker uh, pisses me off a little bit, but like I said, I'll live. But here is the album cover for Six. This is just, uh, yeah, look look at that artwork. <clears throat> that would be one hell of a cool t-shirt. Again, released on AFM Records, and this one was released only two years after Sounds of Violence. This one came out in 2013. And there's that digipack, opens up like that. Let me show you the booklet. And let's see. Yeah, full of lyrics. Is there any band shots in here? I forget. No, there isn't a band shot on. Nope, no band shot on this one. So there is the, just the booklet. And um, yeah, just another solid thrash album from uh, Onslaught. Check out the song, um, Chaos is King, Fuel for My Fire, uh, Dead Man Walking. And there's a bonus track on here, which is a, a remake of one of their songs from... Um, which album i'm not going to be able to just find it right now but anyways the album that they did with uh steve grimmett on vocals there's a song called shell shock so what they did is they re-recorded that song uh, they heavied it up quite a bit and sigh on vocals of course so if you're interested in um hearing what at least one of those songs from the uh steve grimmett album where he did the vocals Check out Shell Shock. It is a bonus track on this. It sounds really good. I think that track is like seven, eight minutes long too. Very solid. Um, lastly today, I'm going to show you. This one is, uh, well, I'm going to blame Jurgen. Uh, Jurgen uh, gave me a, uh, if you don't know Jurgen uh, Allman, he's a YouTuber, actually lead vocalist of... Um, He's been in a couple of bands, Final Breath, and uh, again, I'm going to draw a blank on his band. Um, I don't, I, I, I'm I, sorry, but I, I, of course, you turn on the camera, you forget everything. But if you've watched some of my videos, hopefully you know who Jurgen is. He gave me a um, uh, download card for this band. Actually, he was doing a, um, 
a video. He uh, had lost a, a friend who is the lead singer of a band called Flesh Crawl. And, uh, you know, he was showing some of his stuff and um, which the, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the, the lead vocalist who sadly passed away. But he held up um, a download card. And he says, you know, whoever wants this. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I flipped on his video right away. I'm, Let me check this out because... You know what, as I, as I say in many videos, I'm, I'm dabbling in death metal, but it seems to be getting heavier and heavier. Um, and you know what, I enjoy it. Um, I, I'm in the right mood for it, or I'm just, uh, like I said, I don't know if I said in, the last, in my last video, I'm not a super, uh, you know, a, aggressive guy to begin with, but sometimes I'm just looking for that aggressive music. So I uh, took his download card for Flesh Crawl, and uh, I just loved it. So I picked them up on vinyl, two of them. And this one is called, it's a long title too. It's called, uh, As Blood Rains From the Sky, We Walk the Path of Endless Fire. So this is Flesh Crawl's fifth album and um, their debut on Metal Blade Records. This one is from the year 2000. And the other thing is I love Metal Blade Records. They always include that download card, but this album is, uh, it is heavy, probably some of the heaviest stuff in my collection. Uh, check out um, Path of Endless Fire. Um, yes, oh, oh, actually there is a, there is a cover on here of Swords of Darkness from Exciter, Canada's own exciter and i believe that was from um violence and force album if i i if i remember correctly but anyways that is a phenomenal song but uh this is yeah like flesh crawl and here is the download so i'm gonna flip this over and you can pause this if somebody wants to check out this album there is the code for that there you go and uh like i said i just love metal blade they always include goodies in their in their packaging and this vinyl is called weed green marble vinyl this is number 95 of uh, 300 they still had them at the uh metal blade uh shop and uh i thought i better get them before they disappear but that's what the vinyl looks like on here and this is definitely the heavier end of, of what i listen to but uh you know what? I really do enjoy it. Ver a little variety of the spice of life. But uh, so here is, yes. Um, Swen Gross, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, there is uh, Jürgen's friend who sadly passed away this year only, only weeks ago. And uh, Rip uh, Swen a really, really solid death metal vocalist. Here is the lyrics on this side. And like I just showed you the band shot here and Metal Blade. Um, most of their releases, they put in a, a, a poster and this is just, a, am I holding that up right? There's a poster here uh, of the uh, cover. And then on the back side is a, a more of a band shot I'll fold that up generally what I do with uh, posters or anything that I get in albums they they just stick with I don't hang them up they go right back in um, and uh, just keep them for keepsakes type of thing so that was their fifth album and their six I picked up their sixth album called uh, Soul Skinner this is their second album on uh, Metal Blade. They went on to do two more albums on Metal Blade. I don't have any of their earlier stuff. I think they did about nine studio albums in total, but look at the artwork on this one. Very cool. Here's the back cover. Um, yeah, gr this one, I think actually, I like this one a touch better than Soul Skinner, but yeah, really equally as good. Check out the song, uh, Soul Skinner, Carved in Flesh, love that one. Um, Forced to Kill, and there's a Judas Priest cover on here of Metal Gods. And uh, you know what? A, a, a very solid death metal cover of Metal Gods. You know, you can imagine. 
uh, with those type of vocals. Uh, cool inner lyrics on this side, band shot on this side. And there's another, I'll actually show you the vinyl. This one is Burgundy Red Marble Vinyl, number 50 of 300. So that's pretty cool. And uh, Metal Blade with their anti-static sleeves, they do for, I don't know, probably 90%. I, I have had some that didn't have them, but not a big deal. And there's what the vinyl looks like for that one. Uh, the center rings are the same on both sides. And... I showed you the back cover and there's a massive poster for this one too and we don't want to rip this at all so it is the album artwork and then on the back side is kind of like the other one a nice band shot so that is pretty cool and don't want to forget this one so uh like Jurgen did for me um, if someone else wants to check out Flesh Crawl's sixth album called Soul Skinner, here is the code. Just go to uh, whatever this Metal Blade address is and punch this in and you can check it out. It is Swedish style death metal from Germany. Put it that way. It is that, uh, you know, I, I am not a death metal expert, but it it's definitely has that Swedish um uh sound the hm2 pedal whatever uh ask mark g he knows all that shit but anyways that is it for this update i will be back later on in the week got to get re working on some of those ranking videos just uh got to set some time aside but i want to show you those uh things that i picked up from record store day drop two and uh, a couple other things that i picked up but uh, hope you enjoyed that until next time stay heavy